Hi, I'm Tom from Signature Hardware. Today I'm going to show you how to flush the water lines on your bathroom faucet. If your faucet has uneven or weak water flow, it may be caused by a buildup of sediment. I'm going to show you how to restore normal water flow and get your faucet working like brand new. We're going to need a couple of tools for our job. Nothing fancy, just pliers, a wrench, maybe a basin wrench, a rag, a small towel, and a large bucket. First thing we're going to do is remove and clean the faucet aerator. The aerator helps give your faucet a steady, controlled water flow and actually conserves water. It's located right at the tip of the faucet. First, place your towel over the sink drain. We don't want any important pieces falling down the drain. Now we can remove the aerator. Simply unscrew the aerator from the faucet with a clockwise rotation using your hand. Sometimes sediment buildup inside just makes it too hard to unscrew the aerator by hand. That's why we have the pliers. Simply place your rag over the aerator to protect the finish. Secure with the pliers and turn clockwise to unscrew the aerator from the faucet. The aerator is made up of several parts. Usually a rubber washer, a filter, a housing that connects the whole thing to the faucet. But faucets vary slightly by make, so your aerator may look a little different than ours here. The important thing to remember is to make sure that all the pieces go back in the same way that they came out. Line the pieces up on a cloth so you don't get them mixed up. Then rinse them off one at a time to remove any sediment that may have built up. Next, reassemble the aerator and screw it back onto the faucet in a counterclockwise motion. No need to use the pliers here, hand tight should be just fine. Turn on your water to check the water flow. If the water flow looks good and strong, that's it, you're done. Most of the time cleaning the aerator solves your problem, but if the faucet still has a weak or uneven flow, you'll want to go on to the next step. First, turn off the shutoff valves located under your sink. Twist them clockwise as far as you can. Next, turn on the hot and cold faucet taps to release any water that is still on the lines. After the water drains out of the lines, turn the taps off again. Using your wrench, remove the water lines from the underside of your faucet. Depending on your type of sink, the water lines may be difficult to access. In this case, you'll need a basin wrench to loosen and remove them. Place them both in your bucket. Next, open up your shutoff valves and let the water flow into the bucket for about 30 seconds. Close the shutoff valves again and reattach the water lines to the faucet. Use your wrench to make sure that they are tight. Just a little more than hand tight is fine. Now reopen the shutoff valves. All that's left to do is turn on your taps and check the water flow. If you have any questions, visit SignatureHardware.com or call customer service at 1-866-855-2284. Thanks for watching.